Oh, Ham from Maui. Showing you how to make some denim Levi's look old. The easy way. Within no time at all. All right. Here's a pair of 501 pre-washed Levi's. So they're already a little faded. And they already have that war look. But they're, I didn't buy them with rips or any of that stuff in them. The ones you buy at the store with the rips and everything like that look like somebody cut them and they're ripped. You never want to use scissors when you're making your holes in your pants. And they'll never look right. Okay, I've already started these, but I wanted to show you. I got some sandpaper. And I bought three different grids, but it looks like the only ones you're really going to need. I bought some, what's this? 100 grit. Made a little strip out of it, folded it up. And then I bought some 36 grit. It's real heavy, heavy, heavy sandpaper. I bought those. I bought another one, but I haven't used it yet. But. So what I did at first, you got to remember when you're trying to make your Levi's look old, you want to go with the spots that are normally going to wear out. I'm 65 years old. I've worn out a lot of Levi's in my life, so I know where they wear. For instance, on your lower part of your leg, they never wear there. I've never worn holes in the lower part of my jeans, ever. Unless you snag them on bob wire, or snag them on the corner of something wood. I've never, never worn them out there. Main places you want to look at is the knees, around the pockets, maybe around the fly area, maybe in the back pockets, maybe around the belt loops. That's where you're mostly going to get most of your wear. So, let's get started. Like I said, I've already started this. On my 100 grit, all the little buttons on here, you get them around the pockets, change pocket, you get them around the other pocket. I, they come dark, so I sand them. I take a little deal and I just sand them like this. And not very long, I'll show you about, about, that, about that long. And what it does, it kind of makes them look shiny, so it looks like they're war. I did that on all of them. Around the fly area, since 501s have buttons, I even sanded, not very long, just like this, the buttons. Gets rid of all that, whatever they coat them with, and kind of makes them give them that old used look. All right. Whoops, did I get that one? Yep. All right. Around the pockets where you stick your hands in your pocket, I would take this 100, or yeah, the 100 grit. I can take the heavier grit here and do this. And only have to do it for a minute. And I'm talking about maybe a minute. And you get that kind of hole look. See the hole right there? You get that hole look. I also did it around the belt area. Every now and then I'll put a hole. The pockets, you know, they just look normal when you buy them. Well, this other one I've been working on. And I grab that area and I just half inch at a time kind of work that sandpaper into it and don't take long and it starts you start getting that fray look see that and that's a pretty normal place where that stuff wears out or your pants wear out around the belt I already did it here but sanded there so back pockets I just did this a second ago I should have waited dead on the video but see the bottom there whoops let me get this up here see sanded a little area right there made it look like I got a back hole maybe a wallet would have worn it out there other pocket has a little hole in it. Nothing big, just a little hole. The knees, same thing. And what I usually do, I usually put the pants over my knee. Uh, here, let me get this right. Over my knee. And then just start taking this grit and sanding like this. Only takes a minute, maybe up to three at the most. Brush them, and this is what it turns out to look like. See the hole? Same thing with the other knee. I didn't do much. Because once it starts going, and after a few washes, it starts even going more. We see how he did that knee. Yeah, looks real, don't it? Another good place to do is you got this seam around the bottom on the front side. See how I, I did it and it made it look fray? Can you see that? I just sanded right along the bottom of those seams like I did the pocket area. And don't take long. See, already. Just muffs it up, roughs it up. See that? And you can do that all the way around the whole thing. I think I did the other leg too. Let me see. Yep, see? 
See how it's looking kind of frayed? Yeah, so don't take long. You could probably do a whole pair of pants within an hour, you'd be done. And I'll get some more of these. But like I said, areas up in here, this area right up in your thigh, yeah, I've, I've worn them out there before. I don't like a lot of holes there, but I've worn them out there before. And sometimes your little pocket liner, your pocket liner here will show through the bottom of your hole area. So that's a good place to do it. Knees, of course, like I said, don't touch this area down here. It looks fake because nobody wears them out there. Um, I don't do anything on the butt, even though I wear them out there, but I don't want my pants worn out there. I'll do the pockets instead. So it still gets that wear look. And, so. and then, like I said, around the belt loops, and I, I'll even take these belt loops, and I'll, I'll work one. I'll just take this hard 36 grit sandpaper, and wait a minute, I'll show you how long it about takes. So It don't take long at all. So yeah, I'm already start, it's already starting to wear. So, and then you get all done, wash them. And you, oh, I even got a little hole around the zipper area. And I'll probably do some more around the zipper because you're always unbuttoning and buttoning them up so they always get some wear right in here. So anyway, that's how you make newer pants of gold. Throw them in the washer and you're ready to go. Or you can wait the four or five years, depending on how much you wear them, to get that look. It's all the same. I'm 65. Thing is, nowadays, a pair of Levi's could outlast me. So that's why I do this. Oh, and the hat, nope. This I didn't do the hat. This is handed down from my brother-in-law out of about 10 years of wear and tear. My wife and I are moving off the island and uh, moving to Vegas. And this hat just happened to say Vegas on in the back of it, so he gave it to me. So, But I'm sure this method would probably work with that. I don't know. I've never tried it. Anyway, that's how you make some old Levi's. So good luck. All right. Leave a comment down below and let me know how yours turned out. All right. Aloha. Later.